Good evening, Bahamas. Coming up tonight on our news. Parliament is prorogued. Residents rush to register. That story straight ahead. Our news is brought to you by Alive, the nation's newest and best LTE network. Good to be alive. Welcome to our news and thanks for joining us. I'm Christina McNeil. Topping news tonight. The House of Assembly was prorogued today, terminating the current session of Parliament. The proclamation was read on the steps of the House of Assembly this afternoon by Commissioner of Police Ellison Greenslade, who was acting in the capacity of Provo Marshal. Whereas by virtues of Article 66.1 of the Constitution, the Governor General, acting in accordance with the advice of the Prime Minister, may at any time, by proclamation, prorogue Parliament. Now, therefore, I, Dame Marguerite Penley, Governor General of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas, acting in accordance with the advice of the Prime Minister, do hereby prorogue Parliament as from Friday, the 7th day of April 2017. Greenslade also read a second proclamation giving notice of the return to Parliament on April 11, 2017. Chief Clark Maurice Tyne spoke with the press outside Parliament today, explaining what it all means. Yes, that means the, the government's legislative, legislative agenda comes to an end, and everything that's on our House of Assembly agenda or Senate agenda will fall away. The House will be dissolved on Tuesday, ending the life of this Parliament ahead of the next general election. The difference is that um, prorogation ends the session of Parliament, um, dis dissolution ends the life of Parliament. And um, after, the, after the life of Parliament comes to an end, there must be a general election. Tyne says this will not affect voter registration, and potential voters still have until Monday to register to vote in the 2017 general election. Well, it was a chaotic scene outside the Parliamentary Registration Department this morning as dozens of people clambered outside in a last-minute attempt to register to vote before the current register closes on Monday. Our Jasmine Brown was there for all the action and filed this report. For the fifth day in a row, large crowds gathered outside the Parliamentary Registration Office in a desperate attempt to get registered before the House is dissolved next week. Shortly after the Parliamentary Registration Department opened this morning, frustrated last-minute voters waited outside as an officer guarded the locked entrance. While many people waited patiently, others were fed up after standing outside for more than an hour. <laughs> The department initiated a number call system to maintain order during the voter registration process, but some residents we spoke to insisted it did little to control the chaos. They know elections is coming, they know that this Today and Monday, maybe it's the last day. People are going to come. You know, some of us like to do things last minute. They should have been more prepared. They should have had somebody out here giving out the numbers as you walk out. Not everybody crowded and pushing at the door. I didn't know it was going to be all this trouble. I did not know that. Are you determined to pick up no matter what? Oh, yeah. Because this is my third week and I'm job hunting, jobless. Meantime, this voter expressed his frustration over the confusing process. It, at first it seemed organized and then it just chaos just broke loose when the door opened up so uh, yeah they gave us numbers so I, I don't I don't even know exactly how they're gonna do it but it does it doesn't seem organized the mad rush to register was prompted by last weekend's announcement by Prime Minister Perry Christie in a press statement released on Sunday Christie revealed that Parliament will be dissolved on Tuesday April 11th and election writs will be issued that day Christie implored those who have not yet registered to vote in the next election to do so quickly because the current register will close on April 10th. As dozens of people waited to register, others crowded the department to pick up their voters' cards, like this man 
man who says he is tired of being given the runaround. Despite the criticism, some registrants say they expected the crowds and chaos, as it's all a part of waiting until the last minute. I realize there's a shortage of manpower also and things like that, you know. You got to be a little considerate. Them people in there, they're human beings also, you know, so you can't please people. If you do it too fast, they probably would have complained about that also, so, <laughs> you know, you just, you can't get it how you want it. Reporting for our news, I'm Jasmine Brown. Meantime, there may be more people charged with voter fraud following the revelation that there are hundreds of discrepancies on the current voter register. Parliamentary Commissioner Sherlyn Hall confirmed that he handed over some of those cases to the relevant authorities earlier this week. Some cases have been referred to the Attorney General's office and uh, one or two to the police. Hall did not specify which cases were referred to the Attorney General's office. Earlier this week, it was revealed that some voters had registered more than once in different constituencies, polling divisions, and islands. One person has been charged before the courts. Recently, 57-year-old Andrew Johnson of Harbor Island appeared before Magistrate Samuel McKinney, charged with making a false declaration in relation to a voter registration matter. In other news, Free National Movement leader Dr. Hubert Minnis has accused Prime Minister Perry Christie of throwing his own junior minister under the bus. During an FNM event on Christie Park last night, Minnis called the Prime Minister out for his recent comments on State Minister for Finance Michael Halkidis and how easy it is to waste money. Kyle Joaquin reports. Hubert Alexander Minnis! <laughs> Wrong song. And when they finally got it right, the FNM leader ascended the stage last night, hitting out at the Christie administration's performance over the past five years. Minnis hitting out at Prime Minister Christie for a number of things, from Carnival to his recent comments about his state minister for finance and how easy it is to piss away money. He threw Halkidis under the bus by basically saying that he didn't trust him to oversee where the VAT money gone. The FNM leader also announcing tax breaks that would occur under an FNM government. Within this inner city, tax-free zone, there will be for you, Bahamians, there will be no import duties on construction materials for residential and commercial buildings. Minnis also sharing his party's plans to hold widespread consultation with Bahamians on certain plans. I wish to announce tonight that my government will also create a council of economic advisors. The mission of this council will be to get the best advice on economic growth and development. But one of the highlights of the night came from someone who isn't a politician. Just last month, singer Clement Shea was on stage in blue and yellow singing about Minnis for the PLP. But last night he traded his blue blazer for red. We asked Shea what prompted his switch. Hey, the best I can give you is it's the people's time. The FNM's youngest candidate, Travis Robinson, seeking to defeat Dr. Bernard Nottage in a PLP stronghold, said while he has the utmost respect for Nottage, it's time to send him into retirement. And on election day, when the ballots are being counted, and all you are hearing is Robinson, FNM, Robinson, FNM. Robinson, FNM. The party also hit out at pictures making the rounds on social media of the Prime Minister allegedly sleeping while attending certain functions. I was actually in one of those meetings with a foreign ambassador and Emperor Christie did close his eye and BAM! He was asleep. I had to bang my hand on the table to wake him up. The FNM heads to Arm Bailey Park next on April 18th for its first mass rally of the election season. Reporting for our news, I'm Kyle Joaquin. Still to come on our news, Belinda Wilson is back. That's coming up after this break.